good morning students and welcome to today's class so in the last class we had studied with we had started with the topic division in the chapter multiplication and division correct so we studied in multiplication and we had started with division so what does division division is nothing but it is equal grouping or it is also called as repeated subtraction how uh, multiplication in all is known as repeated addition division is known as repeated subtraction okay so we have you have uh, learned short division and long division methods of division by one digit numbers also you have studied how to verify your div, uh, division so how do you verify so you have the rule that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so when you do divisor into your quotient and add the remainder to it if you get your answer as the dividend it means that your division is verified okay so we learned division by one digit divisors so here we saw different examples so we saw the example 538 divided by sorry 539 divided by 8 so first what we'll do first we'll consider the digit in the highest place of the dividend so here we have 5 now 5 is smaller than 8 so we take the next number also and we take that is 3 so we take 53 together now when you see 53 does not come in 8 table so the nearest in 8 table to 53 is 48 so 8 6 is 48 so we'll write 6 in quotient and we'll subtract 48 from 53 so the here we'll be left with 5 then we'll bring down the next digit that is 9 so we have 59 here so nearest to 59 is 8 7 is 56 so we'll write 7 in quotient in one's place and we'll subtract 59 minus 56 we get 3 so here now we 3 is smaller than 8 so we cannot divide any further so remainder here is 3 okay so 67 is a quotient and 3 is the remainder okay so then we also verified using the ddqr rule so divisor into quotient so 8 into 67 when we did we got 536 plus 3 which is the remainder we get 539 now 539 is our dividend over here so our answer is verified so we saw division of four digit number also correct so seven we saw here 700 and 7486 divided by 3 so first what we'll do 7 divided by 3 6 so 7 is greater than 3 we can divide it easily so we took 3 2 is 6 then we got a remainder of 1 then we brought down 4 so we have 14 here so 3 4 is, is 12 so 14 minus 12 is 2 so 2 here and then we can't divide 2 by 3 so we'll bring down the next digit which is 28 okay 3 9 is, is 27 so 28 minus 27 is 1 and then we'll bring down 6 so it becomes 16 and 3 5 is, is 15 so 16 minus 15 is equal to 1 so here the quotient is 2495 with the remainder 1 correct and we saw another example also 3892 divided by 9 now since your 9 is a little larger number you can write down the tables here if you want so that it's easier for you to divide okay so this was division by one digit number and also we saw the short division method which you have already learned and we solved the problems which were there in the textbook correct so today what we'll do is we'll study division by two digit divisors okay so we studied division by one digit divisor in the last class we'll study division by two digit divisors today okay so the same method that you used for one digit divisors can also be used for two digit divisors so what you can do is write the table of the divisor first in the call uh, working margin uh, see because you all don't know two digit divisors if you all know then good but if you don't know the tables then you can just multiply and write the devices which will help you to divide easily so let's see an example here so we have divide 465 divided by 13 correct so 465 divided by 13 now we have written down the tables up till 7 times so 13 times 7 we have written now if necessary we can write further also okay so here now for, uh, 4 
first the highest digit is 4 so but the 4 we cannot divide by 13 so we'll take 46 now 46 nearby to 46 in 3 table 13 table is 13 9 so 13 3 is as 39 so we'll write 3 in quotient and subtract 39 from 46 so when i do 46 minus 39 i will get the remainder as 7 okay now since i cannot divide 7 by 13 i will bring down the next digit which is 5 so we have 75 now and nearby to 75 and 13 table is 65 that is 13 fives are 65 so we'll write 5 in the quotient okay and subtract 75 minus 65 so we got the remainder of 10 so our quotient is 35 and our remainder is 10 okay so let's verify if our answer is correct so by ddq or rule we know that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder correct so we have dividend is equal to 465 what is the divisor the divisor here is 13 quotient is 35 and the remainder is 10 okay so div so now first we'll multiply divisor with quotient that is 13 with 35 so when you multiply it you'll get 455 so when i add 10 to it i'll get 465 which is the dividend okay 465 which is the dividend so our answer is verified okay so i hope you understood how to divide by two digit divisors now let's see another example so here we have 2146 divided by 16 okay so we shall write down the multiplication table of 16 till 6 or 7 times okay so first we'll divide 21 by 16 so when you see 16 ones are 16 so we'll write 1 in quotient and write subtract 16 from 21 so 21 minus 16 is 5 so we'll write down 5 here in the remainder and bring down 4 now nearby to 54 in 16 table is 48 and 16 3 is 48 so we'll write 3 in quotient and subtract 48 from 54 so 54 minus 48 is 6 okay so we'll write 6 here then we'll bring down the 6 so we have 66 and nearby to 66 in 16 table is 64 that is 16 fours are 64 correct so we'll subtract 64 from 66 which is remainder is 12 and write 4 in the quotient so the quotient here is 134 with the remainder of 2 so if you use the ddqr rule and verify your answer will be you can check your answer okay so 2146 divided by 16 is quotient 134 and remainder 2 all right so let's see another example okay in the third example they have told divide 7228 by 35 okay so 35 is the divisor here and our dividend is 7228 so first you can write the at least for seven multiples of 35 so to get the multiples you can just multiply 35 with 1 2 3 and so on to get the tables okay so first what we'll do first we'll take the first highest two digits that is 72 here okay so first we'll see 72 with number which is closer to 72 in 35 tables so here we have 35 twos are 72 sorry 70 not 72 okay so first what we'll do we'll write 2 in quotient and subtract 70 from 72 so 72 minus 70 is 2 so we'll write down 2 we cannot divide 2 any further by 35 so we'll bring down the next digit which is 2 now here we have 22 but as you see 22 is still smaller than 35 so what we'll do we'll multiply 35 with 0 since we just cannot bring down again we already brought down one number and we cannot bring another number down just like that so what we'll do first we'll multiply 35 with 0 that is 35 zeros are 0 so 22 minus 0 okay so we'll write 22 here and then now we'll bring down 8 okay so we have 228 now the closest to 228 in 35 tables is 200 and 
ten. Okay, it is two hundred and ten. So we'll do two twenty eight minus two hundred and ten. So when you subtract, you'll get eighteen and thirty five six is two hundred and ten. So we'll write six in the quotient. So your quotient is two hundred and six, and the remainder is eighteen. Okay, so you can verify your answer using the DDQR rule. So seven thousand two hundred and twenty-eight divided by thirty-five gives you a quotient of two hundred and six with the remainder eighteen. Okay. So now we'll solve a few questions which are there in your textbook. Okay. So before we start solving the questions for today's exercise, what we'll do is I'll give you the answers for the questions which I gave you for homework last week. That is, uh, E, F, G, and H. So first we have three thousand seven fifty four divided by nine. That is question number E. Correct. So here the quotient is four hundred and seventeen. Okay, the quotient is four one seven. Then we have uh three thousand six twenty one divided by three. So here the quotient is one thousand two hundred and seven with the remainder. Zero, okay. Quotient is one thousand two hundred and seven. Then question G, that is four one five eight divided by six. Here the quotient is six hundred and ninety three. Okay, quotient is six ninety three. Again, the remainder here is zero. Then the last question, that is nine thousand one hundred and sorry nine thousand nineteen divided by five. So here the quotient Is one thousand eight hundred and three with the remainder four. Okay, the remainder is four, and the quotient is one thousand eight hundred and three. These are the answers for your homework, and the remainder for question E is one. All right. So uh, now let's solve the questions in exercise three point five. Okay, divide the following. So first question is three hundred and forty seven divided by. Fourteen. So let's solve these questions. Okay. So three forty-seven divided by fourteen. So first, what we'll do, we'll write down the first five multiples of fourteen. Okay. So I've made a table here in the working margin. I've written the first five multiples of fourteen. Now what we'll do is, we'll divide thirty-five four by fourteen. So the number closest to thirty-four in fourteen table is twenty. Eight. So here fourteen two is twenty eight. Okay. So here we'll write twenty eight, and in quotient we'll write two. So thirty four minus twenty eight will get a remainder of six. Okay. We get a remainder of six. Now what we'll do is, since we cannot divide six by fourteen, we'll bring down the next number, which is seven. So we have sixty seven now, and closest to sixty seven in Fourteen table is fifty six and seventy, but since seventy is greater than sixty seven, we cannot take that. So we'll take fifty six. Okay, and fourteen four is forty six, so we'll write four in quotient and subtract fifty six from sixty seven. So when you do that, you get a remainder of eleven. Okay, so our quotient here is twenty four, and the remainder is eleven. So three thousand three hundred forty seven. Divided by fourteen gives a quotient of twenty four, and a remainder of eleven. All right. So this was the first question. Now moving on to second question. That is four thousand four hundred and eighty nine divided by sixteen. Okay, four eight nine divided by sixteen. So first, what we'll do? We'll write down the first five tab. First tab. Tables for sixteen, so you can write up to five times. Okay, so I have written it here. Now we have four eighty nine. Correct. So we'll take the first two digits in the dividend that is forty eight. Now, if you see forty eight comes in sixteen times table, that is sixteen three is forty eight. So we'll write three here in the quotient. Okay, and we'll subtract forty eight from forty eight. So when you do that, you'll get zero. Then we'll bring down nine. So you can just write here sixteen zeros are zero. So nine minus zero is nine. 
okay so the quotient for 489 divided by 16 is 30 with the remainder 9 okay with the remainder 9 so remember whenever you bring down a number like this but you cannot divide because it is smaller than the divisor now here 9 is smaller than 16 so what you have to do you have to write a 0 in the quotient that is and subtract 0 from that number okay if you don't write 0 here and if you just leave the remainder as 9 even though your remainder is correct your quotient will be wrong okay so here the quotient is 30 and remainder is 9 all right so this was question number b now moving on to question c now here we have the question 512 divided by 21 so first we'll write first five uh, multiples or first five tables of 21 so you can just multiply 21 with 1 2 3 4 and 5 and write the answers okay so now first what we'll do we'll divide 51 by 21 now closest to 51 in 21 times tables is 42 that is 21 twos are 42 so we'll write 2 here in the quotient and subtract 42 from 51 so 51 minus 42 is how much it is 9 so we'll write 9 here and then we'll bring down the next digit which is 2 so we have 92 now now closest to 92 here in 21 table is 84 correct that is 21 fours are 84 so we'll write 4 in quotient okay and then we'll subtract 92 minus 84 we'll get 8 now here 8 is the remainder so the quotient our quotient is 24 and our remainder is 8 if you want you can check your answers using the verification method that is the ddqr rule okay then the next question that is question d 3750 divided by 15 now here i have uh, first what we'll do 37 is there closest to 37 is 30 in 15 table correct so first write down 15 tables then 15 twos are is 30 so we'll write 2 in quotient and then we'll do 37 minus 30 okay 37 minus 30 is how much it is 7 now what we'll do is we'll bring down the next digit which is 5 now 13 5 15 5 is, there is 75 so we'll write 5 in quotient and subtract 75 minus 75 you get 0 correct then we'll bring down the next zero so 15 zeros are 0 so 0 minus 0 will be 0 so your quotient here is 250 and the remainder is 0 okay this is exact division so wherever you get the remainder as 0 that is called an exact division because the number is completely getting divided by the divisor all right so this was division using two digit devices all right so the rest of the problems you all can do for your homework okay so question e f g and h of exercise 3.5 on page number 126 are for your homework that is these two questions here and these two questions what they have shown for at home you have to try on your own and I'll give you all the answers for these questions in the next class. Okay. So in the next class, we'll do division by 10, 100 and thousands. And we'll also study tests of divisibility. Alright. Alright students, I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.